on Air TV, and in this episode, I have the pleasure to be with Carrie from Adults Fusion. Hello, Carrie. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, very well. Thank Great. you so much for agreeing to do this interview. We can't wait to hear your story and have yeah. you share, you know, what had had you start Dance Fusion, and yeah. your vision, and where do you see it, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, um, so Carrie, do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, your lifestyle, like your passions? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so I'm a dancer. I'm originally from Manchester, but I now live here in London. Yeah. Um, I travel a lot, teaching, judging, um, all over the UK. Um, I've been teaching for 15 years. God, it makes me sound old. <laughs> 15 years. Um, and I'm the owner of Dance Fusion. Wow. So tell us more about Dance Fusion. Okay, so we work with some of the best um, teachers and choreographers in the UK. Yeah. Um, we supply them to dance schools and studios. For workshops, and um, it's actually a lot of dance schools. There's hundreds of dance schools throughout the UK, and mm. a lot of them possibly don't even know that they can book a, a choreographer direct to come straight to their school. They probably don't. No, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of like, especially like the local schools. So if, like, if a dance school, school, say they have a dance school, yeah, and they're like, so now they know yeah. that you offer a service where they could book a choreographer to come to their dance school. What could this open up for their dance school? Like, how would it help them? Well, well. Booking a choreographer, any, well anyone coming outside, like especially a professional choreographer, mm. they bring in so much more insight because they know the industry inside and out. They're working dancers, right. they've been working for artists, they're on the underground scene, yeah. they, you know, they know how battles go, everything. So yeah. it will give them so much more, like the students of the school, give them so much more inspiration and so much more knowledge mm. of how to you know, learn different styles because it's really important that students learn different styles and not just one street, you know, one mm. street dance and that's it. There's so many different styles incorporated within it. So it's mm. really important that they train, you know, they get to class and they train and they learn from different people. Mm. So, um, those which have dance schools, what do you think stops them from approaching choreographers and say, come and teach, like, I don't think anything stops them. As such. They just, have a they just don't know. Yeah, I think maybe okay. they just don't know it's possible, mm. or they don't know a choreographer. They don't that they know can a contact them. Yeah, they don't know often, them. especially good choreographers, they kind of position themselves as they're yeah. up there, they're doing special Definitely. things, and, and they're so busy, and they're so busy, and they're so yeah. big, and they don't have time perhaps to come yeah. in, you know, to live a dance part. Yeah. But as a matter of fact, they yeah. do, and that's that, their is, that is yeah. their work. Yeah, and that's their work. That's their life. That is what they do for a living. Yeah. So to teach um, is definitely one of the things that they, you know, they mainly do. They might be doing TV shows, like so if you can dance or you know got to dance. Yeah. But yeah. You know the, what earns their money is teaching and what and performing yeah. on TV and artists and things like that. Yeah. So they're always available to be able to teach. Mm, definitely. Yeah. So Carrie, tell us like what like, what led you to making the decision to have in your own business, or why did you even choose to provide this service of providing choreographers into schools? Like, why did you choose to do this? Basically, it's, it has really evolved from from my own background. I've always been business minded. I've already got two separate. Companies. Oh, what? Well, so you're a, a, a business girl? Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, I, I come from a small town just outside of Manchester. Right. And even though I've been training all my life since yeah. I was five year old, yeah. and I've been going to different schools, I've been training in different styles, nothing prepared me for when I came to London. Right. And I actually saw, you know, and I was learning from the teachers, learning the different choreography, and learning the industry. Nothing mm. prepared me for that. So I, I thought I found that there's a you know there's definitely um, a gap in the market for to link dance schools up with the professional choreographers mm. for them to be able to come together. So do your choreographers then travel up north and all the travel? Yeah, they travel all of the UK, they travel Europe, they travel. So that's the main thing. So where? Because yeah. I know so many people not like UK. Like back in the days, you know, you know, learning dance where they lived out of London. Yeah. And then they'll come to London and, and it'll be like, London. whoa, like yeah. you know, big city. And then you know these dancers and all the new stuff. Like if you're if you're a teacher, yeah. it's expensive it's to bring like thirty all the way down, all the way down to London. So it's a lot easier for you to send yeah. choreographers up. Exactly, and it's so much cheaper. Great yeah. idea. Instead of paying for travel for all the students, paying for a nice accommodation here, mm. you know, so it's so yeah. much cheaper to take a choreographer and send them direct to them, mm. whether it's UK or Europe or worldwide. And what I really love about your business, Carrie, is that not only are you helping out dance schools. You're actually providing employment for, exactly. for choreographers. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And this is what I really love about your business. You are contributing to the dance industry in this respect. Yeah. That you know, you are someone who 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 provides a point for yeah. your dancers. Like it's just amazing. Yeah. It's just really great. So um, so have you always had like a burning desire to um, you know to, to have your? I know you said your background you've got a few businesses, but what about when you were young? Did you always say to yourself, right, I'm going to have a business, or you know, did you ever think that you're going to have a job working the nine to five or anything um, like that? No, I kind of never wanted to be a nine to five. Never. never. <laughs> I could never imagine being. A, not that there's anything wrong yeah. with that, but I just yeah, I just couldn't imagine me doing that. And even though I've always wanted to dance or be involved in the dance industry some at some you know mm. some way or another. Right. So I've always wanted to dance. Um, so yeah, I mean I, it's it's just really evolved this business um, mm. from different businesses from my dance school started my dance school ten years ago. Yeah. And knowing that the, when like ten years ago no one provided this or you never really heard of yes. choreographers travelling to different yeah uh, for different places. So, so from bringing my yeah. from having my students and mm. looking for that yes for choreographers to come there was to a me, need there was a need so I thought that's what I need to do and like you said it's also providing business for those choreographers. Of course, it's just right. great. Yeah. I want to ask you as well, Kate, you said you had some other businesses and I'm not gonna ask you what exactly those are. But yeah. do you think that that experience of you having those other businesses as a business person, you've obviously yeah. learned a lot doing yeah. those businesses. Have you're now like able to bring that into dance fusion? Yeah. Like that's almost um, been part of your journey in creation dance yeah. fusion. Because maybe you know back when you had your dance school, mm -hmm. you didn't have the vision for dance fusion at the time yeah. when you had your dance school. But yeah. because of your experiences with your other businesses, that led you yeah. to now having a business in the industry. Would you say that was true? Yeah, definitely. Like. Having my other two businesses that are running yeah. alongside this mm. um, has definitely wanted me to, you know, has wanted me to have some kind of business in the industry. And yes. it's definitely brought me, like, I think about things more mm. business minded, you know, yes. because I have a choreographers to do, sure. to do the work, as in they go out, they, they're inspiring, they're educating other mm. students. So I'm more of the business side, as in I want to be able to provide those things. Yes, and now you've basically turned yeah. from dance school owner to dance owner. Well, and that is yeah. really the difference. Yeah. Like, you know, there's a lot of dance school owners out there, which I'm sure are watching all this yeah. video right now, and they're probably thinking, right, like, we've done our business as far as we can take it. So they've, maybe they've got full classes, and they've, got, they've done as much as they do as probably like a sole trader. Like, yeah. So now they're probably thinking, well, what's next for them? Because there's always something next. Yeah, there's always more. There's always more in yeah. business development. And I think that the way you've done it is definitely the way forward. So now not just providing dance to teach dance, but now providing employment for other dancers oh, in the industry in order for the industry to expand and for it to be an industry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely. You've got to keep the industry going. You've got to keep the industry going. Yeah. Yeah. So it really is great. Yeah. So what challenges would you say that you've had to overcome in your business? Challenges. Um, I think there's, there's challenges in every single type of business. Isn't there? Mm. I think um, there's. I think within the recession that we're having at the moment and what we've yeah. had, I think it's hard um, money-wise for teachers to be able to to book a choreographer. Mm. So I think but there's, there's always ways around it, isn't there? With sponsorship, with funding, and it's important that the dancers, the choreographers, get what they deserve. Yeah. You know. So I think, but there is always ways around. You mm. know. You know the money aspects of it. Yeah, it's probably just lack of knowledge. No, exactly. Or people don't know how to, you know, get yeah. the money. But there's ways. Oh, there's, there's always, always ways. ways. If, if you, you want to make it happen, yeah. yeah. If you want something <laughs> bad enough, you will make it. Happen. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, Carrie, what have you learned about yourself in the process? Um, not just in dance fusion, but I guess with my other, with my other businesses as well. I'm very hard working to be able to keep everything yeah. running. Um, I'm very hard working, I'm very driven, I know exactly what I want and mm. I go for it 100%. Yeah. And I'm professional and I'm fair as well, you know, with studios. If there is if there is a teacher that says, oh, I, I can't do this, but I want this and is there anything we can do, you know, we'll, we'll always try and meet somewhere in the middle where, where it's, it's, you know, beneficial for everyone. Yes. So I'm quite fair and I understand because coming from a dance school as well, on my own dance school, I yes. understand where the teachers are coming from and they understand mm -hmm. from the students' point of view. Yeah. So 
I've, I'm quite understanding of them both. Obviously, I have the choreographers that I've got to fight for them as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm quite fair with knowing, you know, yes. knowing what's right and what should be. And coming with me is a hard work, how you know, you get to my inbox all the time. Mm -hmm. It's actually how I've got in communication yeah. with you. Um, yeah, I was just sitting up on my desk one day and all of a sudden, pop! Your, your email came oh, this is interesting, I like our business, I will contact to you and invite you for the interview. So, yeah, no, it's really good, it's, yeah. it's really good, you're, you're on it. I can see yeah. you're very hot. <laughs> so, so, Carrie, um, what would you say is the greatest success story of your business? Um, each workshop is a success story, really, mm. you know, seeing, seeing the students and seeing the teachers, you know, inspiring them, yeah. that's a great success. Um, in 2012, um, we had workshops in Ukraine, in Italy, in Belgium, and hundreds throughout the UK. And this year, up to now, 2013, we've already secured three international conventions wow, fantastic. as well, which our are are teaching at. And there's a lot more to come as well, which yes. I can't say too much about, but there's a lot in the pipeline. Ooh, exciting! <laughs> yeah. you really? I will. <laughs> industry going? Um, I think well, there's a lot of talent um, in the UK with teachers, with choreographers and with students. Like mm. The bar is being raised all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was judging a competition just last weekend and the kids, even like six, seven year old kids, mm. they're amazing. Like It's definitely, definitely growing. It's getting so much better. Yes. Um, I think because there is a lot more training out there to be had, mm. there's a lot more opportunity. And do you think there's going to be more and more dance premieres? Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. There's going to be a lot. There's going to be a because some like dance. Everyone wants to dance, don't yeah. they? So I think no matter one way or another, I think there's going to be a lot more people that are pushing the industry forward. Mm. Yeah. So what advice would you give to dance owners out there who are looking to mm. develop their businesses? And maybe yeah. they already have a dance school, like Lady was. Yeah. Maybe they already had a dance. They already got a dance school, but now they're looking to develop or grow into something more of a contribution to expand the industry, you know, it's something, yeah. you know, become more of a dance now rather than yeah. just a dance teacher. Just, yeah. yeah. Um, basically, to train, like, I still go to class, you know, everyone should still keep on training no matter what, no matter what field you're in. You <laughs> should always keep, definitely, you should always keep training because dance is evolving all yes. the time. Um, so keep so up to date with current. Exactly. Yeah. You need to keep up to date um, with you know how the dance industry is going, mm. how different styles are evolving all the right. time. Um, so train hard, take advice off people wherever you can, um, off choreographers. Just train hard and you know work hard with what you want to do mm. and stay focused. So do you think that they'd also have to learn some business skills or you know what would you uh, say? Yeah, yeah, I mean that's always a that's always a great help. I mean mm. I didn't take business as a you know I didn't go to college and train in business. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. You know, you I learned it as a as a girl. I think yeah. it depends on what type of person you are as yeah. well. Um, you can you know you can learn it. Mm. Um, but you have to be driven, it has to come from within as yes. well. You have to be able to want it yes. bad enough to be able to go out and grab it. Great. Yeah. Just stay focused, really, keep training. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Carrie, so if you can sum up your, you and your business in one word, oh. maybe two, we'll give you two if you've got two, or maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> what, would it oh. what would it be? Um, oh, this is hard, and I've still not thought <laughs> We are very helpful. We're professional mm. and we're very helpful. Yeah. Like we give out as much information um, as possible. We're there every step of the way when you're wanting to book a workshop with a choreographer. We're there to help. You know, yes. with the travel, with the, with everything. We're there every step of the way. So we're very helpful. Wow, wonderful. Yeah. So, Carrie, for those who want to learn more about dance fusion, where would they go? Okay. Uh, you can just send me an inbox. Yeah. Alright, great. Well, thank you so much.